What's going on my dream team? Dave back at you with more of the 2019 Bowman Jumbo. Um, so here's the story behind this. I bought one on around release day, I forget if it was on release day, and uh, pretty decent box. In fact, we pulled this Casey Mize, five out of five, and uh, I got kind of lucky because the dude ended up hitting a, uh, or throwing a no hitter. Um, just the other day, or at least at the time of filming this. Um, and yes, it isn't a one touch, but I do have that penny sleeve over it, so that's not scratching the surface or anything. But, anyways, he was the first overall draft pick last year, um, and ended up selling that card. Uh, and for, I'll tell you, I mean, you can look it up, it's on eBay, for a little over 600 bucks. So, I basically made back enough money to pay for my original box. Uh, which means then with leftovers, I essentially got this box for, for free. Um, so from my original 300 bucks, right? So um, I figured, hey, why not? Uh, I got this for, for 295, so really good price. And uh, figured it's all essentially free cards, it's gravy, let's see if we can get some color. And maybe we can get lucky and get, a, get that, that wander. Auto, which is I think the base alone is just sitting around that $500 mark. I did see the one of one Wander Franco Super Fractor was pulled, so I'm not expecting that. But if you can pull any other Super Fractor of a first time Bowman or a prospect, whew, you're gonna be swooning in some cash. So here we go. Open up some Bowman. I've done some retail Bowman on the side. I've bought in a few hobby packs. A few, I think only one jumbo hobby pack though before, uh, or two actually. Did pull an auto in a nice little number of colors. So we've had some pretty good luck. All right. We won't go through all of these. I do kind of have a method. Um, I'm keeping, decide if I want to keep the rookie cards, but I'm keeping all the, the first Bowmans. And uh, so there's method of the madness of how I'm sorting things over here. And there's also certain cards, certain players like Yelich. Anything I'm pulling, he's so hot right now that anything I'm pulling, I'm just gonna set aside and try to sell a big giant Yelich base. You know, if you can sell ten base cards for five bucks, better than using them for packaging or whatever it may be. All right. And ooh, we got a refractor, Corey Ray. Prospects refractor. Uh, Tatis Jr., he's another guy that, even though it's not a rookie, it's a prospect card technically, setting his stuff aside. Because he will get his time and he's going to be good. He um, also, his father played in the big leagues for a long time. Fernando Tatis had some, some good run time, so he's got, he's got the pedigree. <laughs> There's that mice. As always, though, if you do see something that you're interested in, hit me up. Let me know. I haven't really sold any of these. Eloys are ones I'm setting aside as well. Um, this will probably, unless we hit an, another major card in here, be my last jumbo box of Bowman. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a hobby box, but I might reach back into some of the previous years and see if we can find some affordable box of Bowman Chrome or Bowman Chrome. HTA, the home team advantage, which is just autos. A little bit quicker videos, but still fun rips. Um, again, with the price of 18 football going on, uh, which I know a lot of you guys come to my channel for football, uh, but just with the price of 18 football and 19, not having guys in their, in their pro unis yet, um, I think I'm gonna do a little, bit of, a little bit of baseball to pass the time until probably about that July time frame. So, you may see, you will see more. If you're not a fan, you don't have to watch it. I don't care. It's okay. I get it. Um, I don't watch every baseball video that's out there. We got a purple coming up. Uh, Matt Manning. Mejia. Will Smith and his purple. Got an auto. Not a first Bowman. That's okay though. Ryan McKenna. Uh, don't know too much about him. 
Nice clean on-card auto though. Let me sleeve this up off camera. Make sure we're not damaging anything, but number 250, let's check out the stats. All right, so draft on the fourth round. Had a pretty good average last year. So I'll have to check him out later. Um, I've been starting to learn a little bit more about some of the baseball prospectus and uh, some of the, the top prospects out there. Joey Bart, he's one to be to be watching right now. His cards are, I think he's probably the second most popular player people are chasing in this year's Bowman at the moment, even though I believe he's been injured all year from, from the stuff I've been reading. McKay. I'm loading up on McKay stuff. Um, he's trying to be the, you know, I'd say American version of Shohei. It sounds like the Rays are going to let him focus on pitching this year. He's a really good left-handed pitcher, um, but they are going to DH him. They basically said, ah, man, don't worry about first base. Um, so you can get PSA 10s of his first Bowman Chrome for like mm, a really good deal, 10 bucks, but anywhere like 12 to 15. So I'm loading up on, on him. I'm going to go all in on him. Uh, Brock Burke. All right. These are probably... There you go. And again, in case you missed it, the, the first go around, there are Bryce Harper, Harper Philly cards. I was before filming this video. Going to look it up and see what they're going for. Um, I know they are sought after, even though he is... I'm not saying he's struggling, but I think there are some Philly fans that want their money back. Um, he's actually, for the season so far, if you kind of uh, take that and expound it across the, the whole season, he's pretty much at his career, career averages. Um, but he, uh, he's, got, he's got some decent amount of strikeouts, I believe. Um, average isn't, isn't great, but he does walk a lot. Um, but I think folks are probably wishing they didn't spend that much money on him because they dropped a ton of cash on him. Here's one of the Sterlings, Chris Bryant. There's the back in case you haven't seen it. I know those aren't numbered, um, but Brayu, should know that was sticking. Maya, Cal Quantrill, Novelli Marte. I think his stuff is selling pretty decent too at the moment. White. What would be cool is to get a chrome version of a Harper in Bowman. That would probably sell pretty well. Bo, Bo Bichette, he's another guy to go through and uh, set some of his stuff aside. It's funny because I think the Blue Jays had the philosophy like, hey, let's just go draft a bunch of former pros' sons. You got Bo Bichette, you got Guerrero, you got Craig Biggio, Biggio's son, I believe, is, is on there as well. Um, I think they're just going to try to have a, a lineup stacked with Former pro players, kids. All right. So we've got what? We had what? Two refractors, two number cards. DJ Stewart. Let's see if we can get some more. Nola Diaz. There's an Acuna. And, you know, I know, I say I don't know a ton of baseball. Um, I've. I'm also by no means uh, the, the expert on it, but I've been trying to study up a little bit. One, to make these videos a little more entertaining, so doing a little bit more research, but two, just so I know what to look for a little bit more. This one looks like a paper parallel of Franklin Kilom. Let's throw that up there. This is Casey Mize Sterling. I'm gonna have to set that aside and throw that in the order for, for that dude. Pretty good guy to work with in terms of negotiating a deal. Pretty happy with it. All right, Martinez, Beck. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place. That's not a bad one, Victor Victor Mesa. Sorry, Victor Mesa. His brother is Victor Victor. First Bowman, the Chrome version. It's a nice little first Bowman pack. There's a lot in there. Chisholm, Manning. All right, so we're a third of the way in. One auto, right where we need to be so far. Let's get some lower end color. We don't need another red auto again. I mean, I won't complain. Let's get a little bit of color. Pilar, Molina. <laughs> I've seen a ton of this dude. 
It's a nice little photo with that mustache and gum or seeds or whatever he's got got in there. Um, again, if, if, you've, if you've got a guy that you're collecting out of this set, whether it's their first bowman or their rookie, let me know because I'm setting all those aside. The, the base, base cards have been using as, as filler. Tatis Jr. And actually the, the Chrome have been setting aside as well for, for filler. Cutter Kaboom, he got called up. I think he had a, I think he's had a couple home runs at least early on in, in his career. I think he had one in his very first game. Uh, I will always be interested in watching Carter Kaboom because I bought a box of baseball um, last year for the first time in forever. Um, Bowman Chrome HTA pulled an orange shimmer to, to 25 out. Ended up selling that around Christmas time. Um, probably should have held on and had it graded and uh, waited for him to get called up. But you never know. So it's at times you got to make a decision of, hey, take the money now and deal with everything else later. All right, some more for Spomans. Royce Lewis, still waiting for him to get his opportunity. See what's going to happen there. So he's kind of been a little up and down in terms of what people have expected. I think his stuff's cooled off a little bit. Not as much as someone like, oh, what's the other Twins prospect? Or he used to be a big name, D. Gordon, or D. Gordon's son, whatever his, his name is. His stuff is really cool, cooled off. Nick Gordon. I think he was a draft pick in like 2014. Should have been, should be coming up any time now. Otherwise, the Twins may end up giving up on him, trading him for something. And then he'll be just fine somewhere else. That's the Twins' MO a little bit. They did that with, with Aaron Hicks. And Hicks has turned into having a pretty nice pro career. James Goldschmidt, Mancata. There's another Yelich. That dude. Chisholm. Chris Shaw. This Blake Snell, yeah, Blake Snell. So those are cool inserts. We got another Wando, Wander, sorry, paper base. Got about five of those now. McKay, oops. Got some first Bowman's here. I do save save all those. Like I said, I've got a decent little stack going on now. So if there's a certain prospect you're chasing that you collect. Let me know if you want paper or chrome or both. Uh, odds are I've, I've got I've got a, a copy of, of one of them or, or not. Uh, Hero stuff, I think that's how you say his last name. Uh, that's starting to take off pretty well right now. So you can't get any of his stuff cheap anymore. But uh, it's jumping up. The other thing that I've done that's really helped me with baseball is on Instagram. This is a, uh, a page called Slab Stacks, Slab Stocks, I think. And uh, they're super into baseball. It's all about kind of the hustle of, of flipping, investing in, in baseball cards, especially this time of year. Um, so they've always got some really cool stuff. And they've turned a nice little business model. They've got a subscription service that you can subscribe to, get some exclusive articles and a kind of first look on articles. And it's funny, whenever they post something, all of that stuff sells out on eBay like super fast. Um, they were some of the, they, they're kind of the guys actually that I, I personally believe started the um, Acuna update craze here of the last couple of weeks. Um, they had an article about it and all of a sudden that stuff started jumping up from being you know $5 cards to $15, $20 cards. All right, ready for the show. Uh, but they got some good, good information there actually kind of brilliant and genius if you think about it in terms of get a nice little following I'm not saying they're doing this but um, get a nice little following of and hype up some maybe stuff you get some investments in and watch the market price drive up um, again I'm not saying they're doing that but you could do that with an audience um, and, and traction like they're gaining all right so so far only the one auto let's see if our second auto is in this bad boy. But I pretty cool dudes. I have been learning a lot following their page. And there's always new posts and information. That's the first Kershaw I've pulled in a ton of Bowman. 
So I want to make sure it's not short printed. This does have the, the number of codes on it like all of the, the TOPS products do. Soto, Merrifield, Ward, Kramer, Newman, the big dude. I just call him the big dude because he's for the twins and I can't, I can never say his name. Chris Paddock, he's another guy. This dude, I've been hearing, not, not even on the internet, but actually fantasy sports, things like that, dynasty leagues, because I listen to the fi fantasy channel and stuff. Um, he's getting talked up. And not only could he be rookie of the year potentially next year they're talking about, but they're talking about potentially winning the Cy Young first year out. Um, so go go snag up some Paddock stuff too if you can. Hira. Ooh, looks like we got a blue coming up. Let's see, blue was number two. Was that 499? First Bowman. Oh, it's not a Franco, is it? No. But uh, is a double ray, or sorry, they're the rays now. Uh, Orlando Hernandez. So as always, let's sleeve this bad boy up. Let's see what the back has to say. With all this Bowman stuff, um, usually I get my sleeves, and then I, I cut a little slit here, so you can slide it in without damaging the corners. So, uh oh, Sunday was laying next to me, woke up, but. All right, so he's been around for a little while. I signed him back in 2014. Um, pretty good power, uh, for especially for, for a catcher. Um, I'll have to check and see. Um, I'll have to check and see where he's at, what level he's at right now, but not too shabby. Got a couple nice color autos and a first Bowman, um, and they're both position players. I only mention that because unless you get super lucky with that, most pitchers just don't hold good long-term value. Hitters is where it's at. Pitchers are great if you want to sit on them for a year or two and flip them, but they just they just get hurt. I mean, a great guy to point to is Clayton Kershaw, just absolutely dominant for the first five, six years of his career. And then he's starting to fall to injuries. You know, another guy that, not a direct comparison, but kind of reminds me of that um, is Tim, Tim Lincecum. Um, he was a dude, just dominant pitcher, and then started to get a little hurt and, um, you know, really just kind of fell off the, the map completely. All right. Oh, I thought we had some gold action there, but it's just our insert. Christian Pache. Peterson, actually move this stack of base over here so we got a little bit more room. Mitch Keller, not numbered. I always want to double check. There are a handful of these types of inserts with the gold. I just always double check because I'm not familiar enough with the product and I don't want to accidentally Go over anything. All right. Got a bunch of this dude's first Bowman, too. Seagler. There's another Mize. Set that aside for that guy. I'm selling that one, too. Das Cameron. All right. Cool. Three packs left. We got one more auto. Hopefully we can avoid just a, a base auto. But again, shoot for a position player over a pitcher. Merrifield, Ward, Kramer, Newman. I feel like I've had that combo of cards here a ton. Robles. Ooh. We got some gold action. First Bowman. Do we got ink? Do we got ink? <laughs> we don't have ink. That would have been a huge ink card right there. Um, let's get right over that, that Torres, but there we go. Franco, first Bowman to 75. Beauty. Um, 
This is gonna be very uneducated, uh, but I'm gonna assume this card probably paid for our box. Just leaving that up carefully, make sure I'm not damaging any corners. And the other nice thing actually with these non-auto versions is they don't hand sign them, throw them back in a container or anything, so you probably don't have to worry too much about, about damage, but that is a nice, nice card. Beauty. And we still got an auto. It's gonna turn out to be a pretty solid box. I'm assuming that's gonna be a $300 card. Again, that's just my gut. I don't know, I haven't really been checking out his stuff, but if his base auto is around five, 600 bucks, um, a lower numbered parallel like that, it's probably gonna be uh, a couple hundred. Or it could be wrong, it could be $50 in which case. That's still sweet. I'll still take that. All right. Should get an auto on one of these. Hearn Fletcher. Luciano. There's a Vlad. Setting his stuff aside too. Um, everyone's just trying to grab anything Vlad they can right now. Um, got a purple. Auto on that guy? Nope. But it's a Bellinger. That's another great one to be pulling right now. His stuff is ridiculous. Um, I saw, saw that, and it's just the paper version, but he's basically leading the league in everything hitting right now. It's just absolutely nuts what that dude is doing. Um, so that is one that will definitely be jumping up on eBay right away. Sell it while it's hot. Again, I'm not a huge baseball guy, so I don't want to sit on things too long unless they're, they're a sure thing or get it super cheap. And uh, a Bellinger rookie, yeah, probably sit on that for the season, but just a numbered card, just flip it as soon as you get it. That's probably the name of the game there. There's that Victor Victor Mesa. All right, last pack. We know we got an auto in here. Let's end this on a high note. Uh, really good box. I don't know if it's gonna end up being better than the, the first box, but I'm gonna chalk this up to be a really good box. All right. Stuart Gullimore. And <laughs> video is probably coming in just around the same amount of time. Chapman, Lindor, Betts, Albies, that dude, this guy, Chrome, Kilome, Toussaint, and I think our auto will be behind here. Chrome, I right, first Bowman for the Twins, Twinkies. There we go. I actually have not seen this card yet. Anthony Betchtold. Um, always nice to get a, a hometown guy. Um, I love going to Twins games. They're so much fun. Target Field is such a great stadium. If you ever get an opportunity, go check it out. Awesome views all around. Um, pretty decent prices, but fifth round pick. Nothing major. <laughs> pretty bad. Some pretty poor stats there. Um, but he's still young, so still has an opportunity. Cool. Well, there we go. And let's blow through these real quick. Make sure we don't get a, don't accidentally throw away a Harper or anything like that into the wrong pile. Dude's first name was Blaze. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's kind of a sweet, different type of name that you don't say, eh, there's a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Set that aside. So there you go. There you have it. Um, as of right now, best card. Franco, 75, not expecting that. Too bad it's not ink, but that's okay. We'll take it still. So as always, thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for listening to this long video. Um, another awesome box. We'll see if we do another one. Probably not, but you never know. As always, I think I already said that, but uh, thanks for checking out the channel. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we will catch you next time. See ya.